方 ，He is Shanghai. I am Zhang Menjie. I'm Yu Yu from Xinhua.、Uh, welcome to our live program, and it will be shown in our three social media platform, including、uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Today we are going to experience the Pujiang Line, which is the city's first driverless. Uh, metro line and is expected to open on March 31st. So, what does APM stand for?、Uh, technically, it's called Automated People Mover. Do you know about that?、Um, maybe it's driverless and features with the big,、uh, you know, it's without the control and driver room, and we can see there's big of glasses in front of the carriage. Yes, some kind of that. Here we are in the starting station and. We will from here to take、uh, on a journey of this magic new line. Let's go. Today in Shanghai, you don't need to buy a ticket or use a recharge card to board the train because you can see you can see from the screen. Some of the turnstiles now support QR code scanning for passengers to board. And let me try. First, you need to. Open this app called Metro 大都会 and tap the button boarding. Turn on the Bluetooth. It's okay.、Ah, the QR code shows on my screen, and then hold and scan. Oh, please enter. Here we are. We are at on the platform of the Pujiang Line, and this is our special guest, Mr. Yu Miao. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. And、um, so you are working for the Shentong Kaolic Company, right? Yes. Okay, now here we see the、um, carriage train of the Pujiang Line.、Uh, the most special、uh, specialty of this train is that we can see it's very wide door. Yes, you're right. The door is very wide. It's much wider than the traditional doors. What's the size? Around two meters.、Uh, it measures about two meters wide, and the traditional door is about one meter point four. Yeah.、So、what's this point for、uh, this wider space for the door?、Uh, the biggest advantage is that it can accelerate、uh, the passenger exchange when the train stops at the station. So the stop time will be shorter, and the line will run more efficiently. And another specialty of the Pujiang Line is the tire of this train is made of rubber instead of the steel, right? You are right. It is made of rubber, so it is more like a bus, I can say. Bus. And、uh, meanwhile, it can reduce the noise for、uh, the residents who nearby. Yes, absolutely. It makes less noise than steel wheel and steel rail. So because you can see that the line is very close to the residents. So it's a good benefit to the residents.、Okay. Now, after we have the glance of this outlook, let's let's enter into the、Please. carriage. Okay. So,、um, how many、uh, carriage for each the PG、uh, PL line?、Uh, there are four carriages.、Yeah. So the total length of the train is around fifty、uh, one meters. Fifty one meters. Okay. So.、Um, I wonder where is the driver room? You know, <laughs> because it's a driverless、uh, train, so it means no anyone to control the train.、Uh, yes, this is the first uh, truly uh, driverless line of Shanghai Railway Network. So there will there will be no driver. There will be no driver. Now we are、uh, standing in the front of the train, so you can see a good view here. And there is no driver cabinet. It's completely driverless.、Yeah. So 
the seats here we see are for the passengers. Yes, we can sit here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So people who uh, sit in the train can enjoy the view, like the Pujang Park, which is nearby the uh, Shendu Gonglu Wan. You are right. It's, uh, it's good use for passengers. It will be very comfortable, very cool, very interesting to take our ride. Uh. So I can feel when I was in the train, um, I feel more turbulence because of it's 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 really like when I take the bus. Uh, you you are right, but I think it is linked to the technology that we use. It is made of we use a rubber tire. We construct the running surface uh, of concrete. So the feeling is very different uh, compared to the traditional metro. Yes, and it, it, the technology that we use. Okay. Now we enter into the uh, turning radium of the uh, train. I see it's very small, like around 20 meters. Uh, the smallest uh, curvature radius is about uh, 22 meters, which is extremely small because normally the curvature should be bigger than 300 meters for traditional metro, but here it is only 22 meters. Okay, so I see the Pujang line is quite flexible in terms of when they go around uh, on the whole line. Alright. Okay. Uh, given the, um, there's the driverless and all people will do the uh, self uh, selling uh, by the ticket and self uh, drive the whole operation system. I think maybe uh, Pujang line put the um, security and safety in a very important uh, in very important so how we do to uh, ensure the safety for the passengers uh, okay the safety that's a big issue so we have some technologies to guarantee the safety for example in each carriage there are two cameras which film what is happening here and the transferring to the control center that we can visit later. Uh, so the, the operation, the operators know exactly what is happening on each train. And secondly, I can show you. So there is a call, emergency call button here near the door. So when the passenger needs help, he needs to talk to the staff he can press this button and talk with the speaker. And here I can show you, this is an emergency handle. So in case of emergency, for example, a passenger doesn't feel good, he cannot go outside the train, or he sees something abnormal. So he can pull the handle, but I don't advise everyone to do it. The train will stop at the next station. The door will be open, and the working staff will come into the train to see what is happening. Oh yes, and what if happen if the uh, train uh, caught on fire? Uh, you can see that this is a smoke detector. So when there is a fire, there will be a lot of smoke. This detector will be activated. So the train will also stop at the next station with the door opened and the signal will be sent to the operation center and we will organize a lot of people to come to this station and to rescue passengers. I see according to your introduction everything everything happened in this uh, carriage will be uh, censored in the control room which is in the control room. Control room. Yes, okay. right. mm -hmm. And uh, talk about something about your uh, French partner uh, okay, so uh, Shenkai uh, is a joint venture between Shenton Group and uh, Kyoto's Group, a French company, uh, which is also one of the best operator of uh, APM line. And uh, we created this joint venture in in our company. Uh, there are a lot of Chinese employees and a lot of French employees, and uh, also we invite a lot of French experts as our trainers. They transfer their rich knowledge about APM to our team. 
So as far as I know, the EPM is quite broadly used in a global worldwide, such as in Paris, uh, London, and Dubai, Hong Kong, and Beijing, Guangzhou. So uh, what is mostly used for? Uh, driverless system is safer and uh, more reliable than a twin with a driver. Uh, it's not easy to understand. Uh, why? Because people always make mistakes. But the APM, it depends on uh, machines, on system. So we eliminate the human factors. So it is safer than traditional way. Okay, and I can't wait to um, have a look of the control room. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's a pleasure. According to the Shentong Group, uh, the Pujang line will be put on into operation since the, and by the end of the March. So do you have any tips for the passengers that they need to uh, keep notice when they are go back by the train? Uh, as you mentioned, uh, so there is more vibration than traditional railway, so please be, be careful and uh, take the handle. And uh, in case of emergency, as I just uh, told, tell, tell you, uh, use all the tools that we offer to communicate uh, with our staff. There is a plate in, in the internal space of the two carriage. So uh, how about that space? Is that they are forbidden for the passengers to stand on it? So it is not advised. So we can't stand on it. But uh, it's not advised to stand it on it for a long time. So passengers, they had a better seat. Or, or when, we, when they stand, they take the handles. It's not advised to stand on the plate.
Uh, Mr. Yu, now we are in the park section. Uh, how many trains are there in all for the Pujang line? Okay, so there are 11 trains uh, in this, we call it a garage. There are 11 trains. So at night, uh, when we stop the operation, all the trains are stopped here. Now, who is the supplier of the train? Uh, it is Bombardier. Uh, uh, so a leading company who uh, make all these trains as its kind? Yes, they offer the train and the core technology. Uh. Okay. okay, now we are uh, at the um, control center of the Pujang line. Yes, welcome to the operation control center of the Pujang line. So this is where all the operators work. And uh, what is the uh, control center? It is the brain of the line because People here, they monitor the traffic, they react in case of an emergency. Uh, this is really the center of command. Okay. So I would like to introduce you uh, my French colleague, Francois Du, uh, project director. Okay, nice to meet you. To meet you too. So uh, could you give us a brief introduction of this? Yes, of course. So here, as Mio said, it's a brain, the brain of the, of the command. So here, five people are, are working here. You have three operators, one supervisor, and one communication agent. So um, the first operator manages the, the depot, the tragedy. So the train in the depot uh, to insert or remove train from the main line. So the last operator for the station, so he manages the flow, the customer request, on the equipment in the station for lift, uh, fast, bus, stuff like that. And the main operator checks the main line. So all the train in operation um, should have the good reaction in case of failure. The supervisor is the boss of the OCC. So he checks if everything is okay. He's responsible for the safety of the line. And one Agent is in charge of the communication. So in case of failure, she 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 sent message in station or on the train uh, for the passenger. Okay. Um, so uh, everything is, ma is managed from here. People uh, are on site. Uh, so in case of failure, they command these people on site on to maybe to drive the train to move manually the switch or to check if there's a problem uh, control from them. I noticed that in this room there are uh, several uh, foreign expertise like you, including you, are working for this project. So would you like to share something about your working experience in Shanghai? So yes, so Shanghai is a joint venture between Shantong, so the big operator, a famous operator from sh sh Shanghai, and Keolis, so Keolis is a big operator uh, from, from France. So this, this GV um, is made uh, to, to, to try to, fin, it's made, fin, to bring some knowledge because Keolis is a, man, fin, operate a lot of APM in, in the world. So for the first API, APM in China, Shenton wants to work with Keolis to bring our knowledge and to adapt this knowledge uh, here in Shanghai. As you just mentioned, that is the first line of APM in Shanghai, while there are several of other lines operated in uh, Europe, especially in France. So how we adapt the uh, international experience into the Shanghai uh, traffic system? Uh, a big difference here is the, the number of people, of passengers, because in China there is a lot of people. So we have, we have bring from France a lot of process uh, on how to operate, but the management of the people of the crowd come from Shantong, so we should do a mix between uh, French knowledge but Chinese knowledge. Okay, today's live program is all over and hope you have enjoyed it. If you find it interesting, please share it with your friends. Here is Zhang Menjie and Yu Zhixin in Shanghai. Uh, see, you see you next time. time. Bye.